Okay, folks, here we are at Klingman Dome Tower. It's uh, Thursday, I believe, about 9.30, late start. We're back on the trail. Off we go into the fog and the rain. Six thirty, April twenty sixth. <clears throat> Just it's finishing up a little night hiking for a change. Have no idea what city that is out there, but we got beautiful low laying fog that I'm way above for a change. <laughs> Another view from early morning, seven o'clock. You see the clouds way out there, the low lying clouds. We got some blue skies at the moment. Winds are picking up. Hopefully, it won't blow the rain back in. Can't pass this up when I get a chance. Another fantastic view from up on a ridge line in the Smokies. Took me four days to get this kind of a view. Okay, uh, trying to catch up on my videos here. Things got real messed up the last few days between getting in and out of town with the weather and haven't been able to do much recording because of the weather and the dangers of even hiking the trail with all the muck and clay and slickness and everything. But basically, this is uh, the wrap-up for day 17 and 18 uh, April 25th 26th um, we zeroed out in uh, Gatlinburg and then uh, on the 17th we uh, got a ride back to Klingman's Dome a free shuttle from one of the local churches for that offer them to the hikers and we headed off in the fog and uh, didn't see a thing. So basically it was full day hiking in the fog. I uh, only got about 10 miles. I went as far as uh, the shelter called Ice Water. The other guys that were hiking with me, they went on to the next shelter further up, which was about another seven miles or so. I just didn't feel like going for it. So I stayed back at this other little shelter um, so there really wasn't much going on on the 17th. However, after I got to the shelter, I got to talking to uh, a young woman named Stripe. And she was uh, kind of interested in uh, one of the guys that kept trying to convince me to go further on. And so she told me later, she said, well, why don't uh, we get up extra early in the morning and hike 30 miles to get to Standing Bear uh, Hostel, which is where my other hikers were headed for, but they wanted to do it basically a 40 mile hike in two days, uh, cause from Klingman's Dome to Standing Bear is about 40 miles. So it sounded intriguing. So on the morning of the uh, day 18 on the 26th, we got up at uh, 4.30 in the morning and headed out hiking about 5. So we hiked about a uh, mm, about an hour or so in the dark before we finally had a uh, little bit of sunlight. And it was kind of nice because we did get some clearing early in the morning. I was able to get a few pictures. Yeah, not a lot because it didn't take long before the fog started settling in again. And I was back hiking in the clouds. Um, along about 1.30, I was about 20 miles into the hike. Uh, Stripe ended up uh, dropping back. She wasn't feeling real good after the first 10 miles, so she dropped back. And I have not seen her since. I'm assuming that she stopped at a shelter and took care of herself. She's a true hiker. She did this a couple years ago, so she knows what the deal is. So anyway, about 1.30, I get to this shelter, and I'm thinking, you know, I've done 20 miles. Maybe I'll just call it good. I was getting tired. And uh, 
The rain had been drizzling on and off of me, but nothing real serious. But determination kept me going. Sometimes I think my determination gets me into trouble, but it wasn't more than 15 minutes that I had left that shelter and uh, the clouds opened up and I was drenched within minutes. And it pretty much rained steadily from that point on. So the last 10 miles uh, was pretty much uh, hiking in the rain. Poured down, uh, was totally soaked again. But I continued on at that point. Um, there was one more shelter I could have stopped at, but it was only like about three miles from where I needed to be. So it was like, well, why bother now? I just kept going. I will say that when I got to uh, Standing Bear, the uh, guys I had been hiking with were totally in shock when I walked in. They could not believe that I actually pulled off a 31 mile hike. And uh, what was even funnier is that they were busy uh, congratulating each other about how big a miles they did by doing 24 miles that day. And that was the biggest miles that any of them had done. Now, my biggest mileage before that was 20, so, you know, 24 sounds pretty good. Well, I blew hell out of their record with 31. So out of uh, the six of us in this little group, uh, I now have the high mileage record for in one day. I got to uh, Standing Bear about 6 o'clock. There was no rooms or beds or nothing left because it was so late, so I uh, just elected to throw my sleeping bag on the porch. They have a big covered porch there, and it, uh, unless the wind gets picked up and really bad, uh, it keeps you out of any rain that might happen. Plus, it was drier than pitching my tent up on wet ground, so I went ahead and did that. So it was, uh, all in all, it was a uh, long day on the uh, 18th, and slept in, took it easy. It was nice to get a hot shower. And I did get a couple free beers out of it. Of con congratulatory beers. So anyway, that pretty much wraps up uh, things up to 17 and 18.